In this video, we will show you an overview of our Cinema 4D plugin and strips rendering. Strips rendering mode is dedicated for rendering high resolution still shots. It's our custom distributed rendering system, which allows multiple render nodes to work on same single frame rendering. Strips render splits your high resolution frame with horizontal or vertical render regions. Each render node gets one render region to calculate. At the end of file rendering, the final frame is merged into one file. Now, let's take a look on our test scene. As you can see, it's typical still shots rendering with GSG's studio setup. This project contains four different cameras and no animation. Now, let's check some of render settings. First, let's increase the resolution to 4K. Next, Make sure that render range is set to current frame, not an animation, and that both saving output switches are on. Now we can add some multipass outputs for compositing purpose. Next, let's tweak physical render setup. It's set to progressive pass count rendering. We'll just increase passes value to 20. For decreasing progressive render noise, we'll use internal denoiser. Now let's make a fast check on GI mode. For this particular scene, We'll use GI settings common for still shot rendered with physical render. As you can see, it's QMC and light mapping. Now, if everything is set as we want to, let's just close the render settings and save the scene. To continue with the process, just go to the extensions menu and choose one of render beamer options. The cost calculator option will bring to front our online cost calculator tool. Here you can get rough estimate cost and time for rendering the project. To continue, just select Render Beamer Beam It Up. This option will start our Cinema 4D plugin. As you can see, all our cameras are listed here. For strip rendering, just turn on the strip switch. Now you can set final resolution, orientation, and number of strips. As you can see, frame ranges are highlighted with red border. That's because strip rendering is designed to work only with single frame render. To fix it, just put the single value in the frame box and use Apply to All button. If you need to, you can also render different frame for each camera. Now, just click Send to Farm to continue. At this point, our Cinema 4D plugin will save the scene and forward all data to second part of our workflow, Render Beamer. Render Beamer uploads scenes, manages transfer tasks, and downloads frames back to your machine. For more info about Render Beamer usage and its features, please check our dedicated Render Beamer playlist. As you can see, project is quite small and it's already uploaded to the farm file servers. At the end of the process, Render Beamer will bring up job submission pop-up. To continue, just use the green submit button. Now you will be redirected to Web Manager, which is the third and the last part of our workflow. It should be used for rendering jobs management progress checking, payments, and farm file server operations. To continue with the process, just log in with your user ID and password. Once we're in, you will see main job window. This part of the workflow can be skipped if you are using Render Beamer Auto Submit option. With Auto Submit, your jobs will be automatically added to the farm under queue without Web Manager usage. Now, retro back and take a look on manual job submission window. In the main part of job submission settings, you can see our camera list with selected render range. Generally, to continue with the process, you can just click Submit button, as all the settings are exactly the same as we set in Cinema plugin. Just keep in mind that if you still want to turn off any of cameras or change the frame range, this is the last step when you can do this. If everything is OK, just hit Submit button. Now, the job window will hide and render jobs will be transferred to the farm render queue. As you can see, all four cameras are already in the render list. Each camera is separated for two render jobs, render and merge. All four render jobs have active status bar info with dark green color. This color means the render jobs are taking over the render nodes. Merge jobs, on the other hand, have light turquoise status color with waiting info. This means merge job is waiting for render to complete. Now, you just need to wait for any available render nodes to start rendering the job. 
Once active status change the color to light green, job starts and you can check the progress. To do that, just select any render jobs and roll to front right info panel. In the progress panel, you will find two lists, active and done frames. First, the frames or strips are listed in the active pool. Once finished, they are moved to the done table. Now, you can continue to work on next shows or take a cup of coffee and wait for all high res renders to complete. As you can see, the merge jobs start automatically after successful rendering for any connected render job. Once render is done, you can download the frames back to your workstation. To do that, just go to Render Beamer, switch to the Downloads tab and refresh the list. Now you can just use Download All button. Once the files are on our local hard drive, we can check them directly from Render Beamer. Just select any downloaded output folder and use Open Directory from the right mouse button menu. As you can see, we got all rendered files here. So, in main output folder we can find every rendered and saved strip. Each selected multipass output is also saved here with strip saving options. The final result can be found inside merge folder. As you can see, all merged multipass sets are also saved here. Let's take a look at the final 4K frame. There is one more tip to remember. As we were rendering 4 render jobs, each of them got separated render output. So here we can find other cameras. Every one of them is rendered and saved with exactly the same render settings and output saving options. So that's pretty much all when it comes to Cinema 4D high res still shows rendering on our render farm. Happy rendering with GarageFarmNet!